Capitan Marcucchioni, mm -hmm. uh, he established the Republic of Merdita in 1921. Was he hoping to have an independent Catholic country to the north, or was he hoping eventually to govern all of Albania? Uh, being the captain of uh, the capitan of Mirdir at that time, and uh, the president of the, rep the so-called republic. Cellini, uh, the goal for proclaiming the Republic of Mirdir in 1921, I was to uh, to save uh, the whole uh, boundaries of the ethnic, Alban ethnic Albanians. But also uh, with a focus on protecting the uh, the Catholic uh, Catholic well, mere deed, let's say. After the 1919 assassination of Prank Beb Doda, Capitan Marcagioni emerged as a leader of the House of Gilmarku, a line of princes tracing their lineage back to Skanderbeg. Based mostly in the mountains of northern Albania, the dynasty mounted a centuries-long Catholic resistance to the Ottoman occupation. His ascendancy brought him into conflict with Ahmed Zogu, elected prime minister of Albania in 1920. Zogu believed the northern region of Mirdit posed a threat to the government in Tirana, and worried they would interfere with his plans for Albania. Marcagioni traveled to Prizren, and the Republic of Mirdita was declared in July of 1921, with himself serving as the only president. This short-lived republic mostly collapsed by late 1921, and not much is known about this period of Albanian history among English sources, so I spoke with some locals from the region, descendants of the families involved. I asked them a few questions, and here's what they had to say about the Republic of Mirdita. Okay. The Republic didn't survive long, because in uh, the context of the Council of the Ambassadors in Albania, it was decided that Yugoslavia uh, should get out of our Albanian borders and the regions to be uh, protected from the government established in Tirana. The whole territory and the uh, confines of Albania of 1912. So uh, the League of Nations at that time, the, 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 they decided that uh, uh, Albania should go to its boundaries of 1912. Since uh, even the war had ended, the First World War, still uh, Yugoslavian military was somewhere here in the regions of Kukus and Dibur, so around near Deep, let's say. They hadn't left their, their positions, their, their attacking positions. And the government uh, in Tirana wasn't, let's say, still strong enough to, to spread its uh, influence in the whole territory. This is why uh, this inner gap, let's say. During this republic's short existence, were there any battles fought, any massacres? Uh, it is mentioned the, the Battle of Kolike. Orosh, near Ditas Afar Sarajevo. In Orosh, uh, uh, near uh, the Jomarko family residences. There were wounded people in that battle. In this period, in the, in the meantime, even in prison, uh, which is in today's Kosovo, uh, there were uh, arrests made to Mirditas, to people who were originally from Mirdit living there, uh, who were, let's say, not just uh, specifically from Orosh, who people from Mirdit, but who were specifically from Orosh and Fan. He, want, he wants to add a bit. Oh, to, uh, sure, to, please. So, and we added that uh, one of the other battles was with the government of Tirana, and it, this is an official fact, actually. Uh, uh, since uh, Ahmed Zogu, the, late, the later to be president and king of Albania, uh, at that time, when the Republic of Mirdit was established, he was uh, the interior minister, and he he was authorized to to let's say to shut shut down this republic, this organization, and he gathered uh, forces uh, uh, from because he is from a neighboring region uh, here, from Mat Mati region. Uh, so he gathered forces, let's say, from his villages, from his region, and. Uh, uh, from Lur and Deber, which are neighboring, and he attacked, let's say, he attacked uh, uh, Orosh from the side, from from, from his side, uh, and there was a battle. 
uh, in the Skaljana it, it's called. It's on the plateau of Orosh, uh, actually, coming from the side of Mat. And there were killed people, wounded people in that in that battle. This family, so. Orosh is in the in the back of the of the hills of, uh, of the city. Unfortunately, we cannot really see it. But just to get an idea of where where uh, near deed started it, so Nomra uh, Adim Persa Sam the grandfather his grandfather used to uh, commemorate when he was t he, he would tell him about this let's say about this battle uh, uh, he would say this uh, because of the number of killing uh, of people killed were more from the side of of uh, the government let's say uh, and most of them were uh, from Muslim regions who were neighboring near deep uh, and he would say where are you uh, you white pine uh, he would say it as a song uh, that you that you killed so much uh, Pasha so uh, Pasha was like a title, Ottoman title I think you know it so, uh, that you killed killed so many Pashas <laughs> so let's say in this battle to, to commemorate the, let's say the, the, the conflict Wow. <laughs> so uh, uh, <laughs> after this, after the republic was, let's say, fallen, big families uh, of Mirdit uh, and key key elements of this family moved back, moved to prison because uh, Ahmed Zogo at that time was, was gaining power, let's say, within the the, the Tirana government, the Albanian government. Uh, and uh, he didn't have a, a good relation even before the Republic of Mirdit was established with Marka so the leader of Mirdit. So the captain of Mirdit was, let's say, kind of like the capitan of Mat. His family were originating, originally the leaders of Brugayat. So they didn't have a, a, a good relation even before. And uh, 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 it's an ego. Uh, and there's, uh, it was 1923 when they somehow, let's say, put down their, their not the weapons, but put down their, 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 their strong tongue against each other and they started to, let's say, to go, to, to ease up on the relations. And Mark Ajoni, who was, let's say, the president, the captain of Mirdid, but the president of this republic, uh, actually died at his house here in Fan. Wow. Uh, and it was his family that buried him because they, they share, uh, let's say, a blood relation also. She, Not just, let's say, she, 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 she. his grandmother was, uh, was let's say, was originally from the Jamargo family. This is why the, 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 the line, the, the connection of the two families. Terence Tochi is one of the figures of, uh, let's say, of, of the movement of Albania for independence and, of course, uh, especially of Mirdit. Uh, he is from the Albanians of southern Italy, uh, a known community that uh, uh, left Albania after Skanderbeg's death and uh, the invasion of Albania of the Ottomans. Uh, and uh, in his, let's say, time, he, he came come back and forth to Albania. Uh, and uh, in one of his political movements, uh, let's say, uh, before the Albanian independence was established in Vlora in 1912, let's say, from the Ottomans, uh, Mirdit, let's say, declared it previously, uh, that independence uh, during uh, what were called the, the Balkanic Wars, let's say, that were being fought. And Terence Tochi was one of the figures of that commemoration and the Republic of Mirdit comes after this, the First World War, what we will talk with Artan more, more specifically. Me gurta venu, prepara. The old grave was with the communism. E kashem mermemen. E kanë vumina. Mermemen, communism e kashem e kashu gurta prut. Basically, the communists destroyed even his grave, so his upper parts, the stones. 
And they had to rebuild it in the 2000s, so later, when they had the chance. And those are uh, relatives of Kam uh, his family, so nephews to, to the Jamar's family. His father, uh, Baba, how are you? Kastan Zushi. Zushi. Great grandfather, grandfather, Baba, father, Aja, Aja. Aunt, and two uncles. They're not real, huh? Baba, they're not real. One senior. He was, he is a priest and uh, father of the <coughs> sir of our area. He's originally from Mirdit. Oh, was very clear. Oh, Jevalin. Ah. Altani kadan pri posh Mirdit, njidhe ne prezdens Jushien. Altana disha tot Napoleonari. Napoleon, Napoleon. Kar kto kashkul? A zidan kritari chivis ime prezdenit. He's saying a fact that uh, his grandfather gave to uh, what uh, Captain uh, uh, Frank Bibdoda uh, uh, early on the time of the League of Prisoners was being, let's say, gathered. Uh, he gave, he support him financially to go and uh, and actually he was one, one of the prominent figures of, of the League of Prisoners. He was uh, the vice chair of the government at that time, the captain originally from uh, from the Jomarko family. He was interned in, uh, in, in Mosul in Iraq, in Iraq. Mark. Uh, from the Ottomans. He's telling that uh, his great grandfather uh, sent money to him uh, in Mosul in Iraq so he could uh, 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 escape. From there, and he was, he was, uh, um, Mark was actually was has, was wearing as a Turk, uh, and to, to to escape and to evade Mosul, and in 1902 made it uh, to to Qatar in one of the bases, let's say, in a ship. So.